The special thing about Jacob that really helped going through all this, that he's always been positive, he's always been very empathetic to other people, um, he's just, he's a good kid. He's, he's, he's the, the, the son that everyone would want. I think most of this started um, right at the end of a half marathon that Jacob and I did. Uh, we got to spend a nice father and son weekend out there and, and it was just about a week later that uh, we noticed the lump. Jacob let us know that he had found, he had noticed a lump on his collarbone and it literally came out of nowhere but it was probably about the size of a golf ball. So we made a same day appointment the following morning for four o'clock in the afternoon and saw just the pediatrician that had an appointment that day and she immediately knew something was wrong. She sent him in and did x-rays, um, she sent him for blood work like stat blood work over at the lab and uh, by five o'clock that afternoon we already had an appointment with the the Pediatric Oncology Hematology Department up in Fontana. So as soon as I knew that Jacob had this lump here, what I needed to do was work on getting a diagnosis. Once we had the biopsy, we arranged him for him to get all of his scans, and within two days we had the results of the biopsy. The communication within an integrated healthcare system is fairly remarkable because not only are we sharing the same electronic medical information, we know exactly all the people involved in care and we're able to quickly communicate with them through multiple methods. So exactly a week after his first doctor's appointment, they had confirmed that he had stage 4 Hodgkin's lymphoma. I knew I was going to be in good hands, but just the fact that I had cancer and that it was stage 4 just kind of scared me. There, there, is no, there is no other option. This is just going to be a fight. Our setup here at Kaiser Fontana is that we are we're a team practice. We have three oncologists, and we all pitch in to take care of the patients together. Wherever the patient is going to be, there's going to be a person there to take care of them. Jacob was part of our team while we were explaining to him what he was going to go through. He had the opportunity to ask any question that he had. That's the one thing that I really, really loved throughout the entire treatment process is how accessible the doctors were, how much they communicated. I really felt like they were part of a team with us the entire way. He had five rounds of chemo, and for this particular chemo treatment, they hospitalized the patient for the first three days. The first day we had to go in the hospital, of course we're lugging all his stuff, he has his overnight bag and we brought his pillow, and the very first person that we saw checking in was Nick, who was one of the nurses. It was like Nick had known him forever. We walked in, Nick was like, Jacob, my man, come on, I have your room. Watching Jacob go through treatment, I think, I think really changed me because he was so brave and he never complained about anything. Anyone that first meets Jacob, like the one thing you remember is like his smile is like sunshine. I told them that we had wonderful news that Jacob's scan was uh, clear, did not have any further uh, disease activity and so he would not need to get radiation. So the parents were thrilled and it was really rewarding to see Jacob's face when he heard that the treatments were working. Together that team, I. I couldn't imagine going through our treatment without having them behind us. They were the best team that you could wish for. They cared for me, they helped out with every single thing that I needed. They loved every single kid they had, like they was their own child that was going through this. Just amazing because they would stay after hours like Nick did to make sure I got my chemo in. Olga taking a later lunch to help me with my respiratory test. If my care team were in this room right now, I'd probably say thank you. Thank you is not enough to say to them. 